Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. Make sure you turn, give this video a like and turn the red to the gray. And if you're turning, welcome back. I'm going to be <clears throat> doing a couple readings today. But before I get to the reading that I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be giving a one of my good friends here on YouTube a shout out. She is truly amazing and I love her to death and I'm going yesterday was her birthday and I'm going to be reading her a um, verse from numbers six Ow. sorry I hit my it's gonna be six 24 through 26 the Lord will bless you and watch over you the Lord will smile and you you and be kind to you the Lord will look on you with favor and give you peace but and then I'm also going to be reading um, 2 Corinthians 6 no sorry 4 through 18 we don't become discouraged since God has given us this ministry through his mercy instead we have refused to use secret and shameful ways we don't use tricks and we don't distort God's word and God watches you clearly reveal the truth to everyone this is our letter of recommendation So if the good news that you tell others is covered with a veil, it is hidden from those who are dying. The God of this world has binded, blinded the men of those who don't believe as a result. They don't see the light of good news about Christ's glory. It is the Christ who it is God's image our message is not about ourselves it is about Jesus Christ as the Lord we are your servants for his sake we are his servants because the same God who said the light should shine out of darkness has given us light for that reason we will bring to the light no knowledge about God's glory what shines from Christ's face our bodies are made of clay yet we have the treasure of God good news in them this shows the superior power of this treasure belongs to God and doesn't complete doesn't come from us in every way we're troubled but we weren't we aren't crushed by our troubles we're frustrated but we don't give up we're persecuted by around the death of Jesus in our bodies so that the life of Jesus is also shown in our bodies while we are alive we are constantly handed over to death for Jesus sake so that life of Jesus is also shown in our more, more, uh, <laughs> mortal nature death is at work in us but life is at work with you the following is written I believe therefore I spoke we have that same spirit of faith we also believe therefore we also speak we know that the one who brought the Lord Jesus back to life will also bring us back to life through Jesus he will present us to God present us to God together with you all this is forsake 
for that as God's kindness overflows in the lives of many people, it will produce even more thanksgiving to the glory of God. That is why we are not discouraged throughout awkwardly. We are wearing out inwardly. We are renewed day by day. Our suffering is like a temporary and is producing for us in huh? eternal glory that is greater than anything we can imagine. We don't look for things that can be seen, but for things that can't be seen. Things that can be seen only are only temporary, but things that cannot be seen last forever. But I hope all of you have an amazing day and I want to um, let everyone know that please pray for Arnie and his family through a rough time that he's um, going through right now. He just currently lost his dad yesterday and we want him to know that we are all here for him and we love him dearly and just letting him know that don't give up we're here and we're all praying and hope everyone has an amazing day and again I want to tell my lovely sweet friend happy birthday and she's truly amazing and like I said I love her to death but I hope all of you have an amazing day and just remember never to give up